Shalom, shalom, everyone. Shalom, family. Welcome back. Welcome to another episode <laughs> of our journey towards. <laughs> Yes, he can sing. Okay. All right. So, the revival. We are back. Uh, we've had um, some challenges. Oh. Um, we've had uh, just been busy. You know, just just been busy. But um, we're at a point in time where we've been distracted uh, long enough. So mm. we want to we want to get back on the horse and give the people what they ask for, mm. so to speak. So, you know, we're back. You know, we're here in Gambia. Been here two and a half, going on three years now. Mm -hmm. It's the rainy season. It's been raining. Mm -hmm. It rained last night so hard that it knocked the tree down in front of our house. Yeah. We had to have cut down this, well, we had to have chopped up this morning to move out the way. And it's been hot. Oh, yes. Ooh, it's been 30, 38 <laughs> it's, hot. Yeah, it's been hot. Well, it's, been, it's been hot as a whole house on nickel night. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been hot. It's been hot, hot. But you know, I'm we, sorry. We um, we've we've been persevering. We we've been getting through every day. Yeah, yeah. You have something you want to add? Well, no, no. Like you said, uh, we've been going through some challenges, mm -hmm. you know. But the Most High has kept us, mm -hmm. um, and. We have to keep our heads up and keep going. Um, we had to take that break, though, to minister to ourselves um, as a, a husband and wife and, um, and just, you know, get back to where we need to be. And, um, and now we're ready. We're, we minister to ourselves, and now we're ready to um, give out of the overflow. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why we're back. We're ha I'm happy to be back. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I, at one time, I didn't know if I wanted to come back. The the Same. warfare, the warfare was so heavy. Yeah. Well, the, the warfare and sometimes it's just um, us as <laughs> uh, people. Yeah. You know? but, um, yeah. We just yeah. have to uh, persevere. You know, everyone is where they are in life mm. because of their past experiences. Yeah. So we just have to learn to, uh, you know, meet everyone where they are mm -hmm. and either leave them standing there, uh, you know, drag them along with you a little bit of the ways. And if they don't want to cooperate, <laughs> leave them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what are we talking about today, Amadi? Uh, I guess we're going to speak on challenges yeah yeah I was reading I like to go back and read the comments and I try to respond to them and uh, I one it, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way but then I thought about it mm -hmm. um, the person was saying that we seem to sugarcoat everything we always seem to be uh, super positive and they want to see the real and hear the real and okay, so can I say something there yeah not to say that we should be 
negative, mm -hmm. but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with trying to find a silver lining yeah. and being a positive person versus being a negative person. I yeah. mean, we're, we're not trying to be um, one of the, um, what's the name of them shows? Mm -hmm. It was all negativity. Um, I don't know what you call them, but I know what reality you call them. TV shows. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. not. I mean, it's it's our reality. Yeah. But we're not here to drag people. We're not here to talk about people. We're not here to mm. put things down culturally. You know, yeah. if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> you hit the wrong stop. Yeah. Because that's yeah. that's not what we're about. And we have to live here too. That's right. That's right. And, we, we're uh, not going to give everybody their fancies, and then we have to go out here and deal with everybody. Yeah, and we nah. tell people to come, you know, and um, and experience the Gambia. We, uh, the Gambia. We used to do consultations, mm -hmm. and some people did. We did them for a while, mm -hmm. and we will do consultations, and um, our consultations were very reasonable. Mm -hmm. Was it was it 40 USD or 50 USD? Uh, well, 40 or 50. I, I think it was 40, but if we continued, we'd probably do 50 because, mm -hmm. you know, car costs have risen some. But uh, we did a, a lot of consultations and uh, hosting and things of that nature mm -hmm. in the past. And when we did that and people came, we were a little more at liberty to uh, speak about specific things. Mm -hmm. But I think we just kind of uh, are going to maybe touch on some of the challenges that we have um, encountered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, since being here. So, you, can begin. you want me? Okay. So, you know, uh, one of the, uh, this just happened maybe, I think last weekend. I was so upset when I came uh, home. Uh, I uh, am considering uh, introducing a certain type of dairy into my diet. And please, please, I, I don't want everybody inboxing me about dairy. I, know, I understand dairy, but uh, there's one particular dairy that can is kind of medicinal. But anyway, um, I went to the Abacor uh, to get this uh, milk. It's actually goat's milk. I'm just going to say it. Uh, goat's milk is the closest thing to mother's milk. Uh, so it's easier to digest, especially for babies. But anyway, I decided to go to the Abacor. And I went without a mighty on this particular day. And I'm not going to tell the whole story, but a young man attached himself to me acting like he was going to help me. And uh, when he uh, got me to the Albacore, he was trying to charge me 2,500 Delasi for um, not even a liter of milk. That's about 50 USD if you go on the 50 Delasi to 100 Delasi exchange rate. That's about 50 USD for goat's milk, where I can get the same goat milk a liter of goat milk in America for maybe six or seven. I could buy a whole goat here. Yeah. <laughs> for 2,500, yes. So, you know, uh, my thing is that I, I got really, really upset. And uh, the gentleman was saying, oh, it's business. And, you know, he was trying to say, oh, the goats in America are more expensive. I said, exactly. That's why it should be cheaper here. It, 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 it is more expensive in America, but he was, oh, it's just business. And I said, okay, so if you come into my shop and I charge you more than I'm charging everyone else, you're justified, you know? And so for me, it's like, you know, we have a mantra that we've used in our household for years, and that's to do unto others as you have them do unto you. And it is not acceptable. You know, people see us as foreigners. We are not foreigners. We're the children return. You see us as foreigners, but we're Kunta Kinte return. We're the ancestors that were taken return. And <clears throat> there's no way anyone could justifiably, if you came to America uh, as a, a Gambian or whatever, and you came into my store, I'm going to charge you what everyone else pay. I'm not going to charge you. Um, more because you're a foreigner and you don't know and just because I think I can get more to me that's just not um, it's not right 
it, it's it's not it, to me morally it's not right it's just not right you know uh, if and, and there's been times where if we got something at a, a extremely low rate or whatever we'll give a little extra but it's to me and that's just a lot of the culture people see us as foreigners they feel like they can get more money and I'm not saying everyone does it but it happens a lot so that is a challenge you're gonna find all over Africa it's pretty consistent uh, from many of the YouTubers we've seen. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a, a challenge. Well, my, my challenge has been um, basically a lack of cost control. Yeah. When it comes to things across the board. Um, because from the time we moved here to Gambia to now, a lot of things, the prices has increased drastically. Yeah. Um, and some items, it doesn't even make sense as to why. Mm -mm. Especially a lot of the local items. I mean, I, like I, I, I've seen cashews mm. uh, price increase because they say because of the war in Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> like, but the tree is right down the street. So how do you go pick some stuff off the tree? <laughs> And then, you know, charge what it costs of the war in Ukraine. It just, yeah. I mean, just the bread, the fuel, the anything inside the store. The bread is still reasonable. But it was, it was still increased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, anything inside these shops, I mean, the prices, there is no control. It's the mm -hmm. wild, wild west. Yeah. It's like even a can of Pringles have went from uh, one, 110 125, uh -huh. 120 to 200, 200 to $225. That's $400. That's $4.50. Four, 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 four dollars. Yeah. Four can of Pringles. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Like, and, and bags of chips for $200, $225. Yeah, it's crazy. And I'm like, yeah. where does that stop? It's like yeah. every week you go in the store and it's $110, you come back the next week, it's $125, you come back the next week, it's $135, and it's, yeah. I'm like, I'm sure that's the same lot that came off the ship. Yeah. You know, the same box of items that you paid one price for. So why is the price gradually yeah. increasing every week? But what have we noticed when these people who own the stores, which are not Gambians, no. when they see what we're what's, buying, what's being purchased, what we're purchasing, it always goes up and up and up. And, and I'm not going to say that doesn't happen in, in the U.S. Because it yeah, does. And they, they pay close attention. Because I used to wonder how, you know, it's like uh, like at Sam's. We would, yeah. we would go there and it's like they tracked everything. We It's like you start getting mail, email. I'm like, yeah. okay, so what's really going on? Yeah. So I'm not going to say it doesn't happen, but there are controls in place. Yeah. They just can't willy-nilly, you know, start increasing things just because. And especially because of... Tabaski, a Ramadan. I mean, around those times, <laughs> I went to buy some salad, and the girl told me 50. And I said, well, I can go down the street and get it for 25. She said, well, no, it's 50, 50 today. And this is the day before Tabaski. I'm like, ah, so because of Tabaski, it's 50. Yeah. And she just smiled, basically, and like, yeah. Yeah. It, because of Tabaski, this is going to be 50. You come back tomorrow, I give it to you for 25. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow. See, yeah. I'm just blatant with it. You know, yeah. It doesn't even matter. You're going to increase the price of everything because you know people need it yeah. for, for that time period. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, that's just unfair. Yeah. If anything, during those times, you should be decreasing, not mm -hmm. increasing, taking advantage of people because you know they're going to eat well those days. Mm -hmm. There's nothing right okay. about that. So you're going to uh, probably make up in volume. Yeah, you would make up in yeah. volume, but it's, it's just nothing right about it. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's for it to be a religious holy day. Yeah. Okay. You know, it, it just don't make sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so my next one is, is a major uh, pet peeve because, you know, we have helped so many people relocate, get mm -hmm. apartments, uh, get land. I mean, we've helped a lot of people. Mm -hmm and um, <clears throat> apartments, uh, and not just apartments, even rent places to rent for business and things of that mm -hmm. nature, they're starting to collect rent in USD. <laughs> and for me, the only time you should uh, collect rent in USD is if you're dealing with someone over in the US and they have to send funds and they have to send it in USD. They need to know 
you know, how much it is. So you have to give them a USD equivalent. We understand that. But when you have people living here making money in U.S., I mean, in uh, Gambian, Delasi, you know, um, and you're charging these people who don't have U.S. money coming in, and you're charging in Delasi, and this is my thing, is these places that are renting um, uh, to people, it's excluding so many Gambians because how are you going to tell a Gambian who has never left the country and they want to come and rent from you, you're going to tell them, oh, you have to pay this much USD. Well, I'm just trying to understand how we even got to Gambia, a place that's never been colonized. And it's USD. By, U by U.S. How do we get to the point where it's U.S. dollar? That's the dominant currency. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure that out. How can how can you go to a dollar? Is it because it's beneficial? It, that's what it's. That's you know, what it, it is. It, that's what it is. That's what it is. I, I just don't understand. Mm -hmm. So the people that's coming from UK, they should. If that's the case, they should be paying in sterling, a pound, yeah. the silver, whatever the case may or be. Euros, yeah. Euros. They they mm -hmm. shouldn't be paying in dollars. So how do we get to the point to where the dollar is the dominant currency? Yeah. You know this this to me that's another one of those things lack of price control. Yeah. Those things should not be allowed. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you can increase the price on a space based on a dollar that has nothing to do with Gambia. Yeah. And just to do with your pockets. Yeah. You know, because the space didn't increase in size. If it was twenty meters, it's twenty meters this year. So how how did the price increase two hundred, three hundred dollars? Just because of a dollar. Yeah. The exchange rate. And it Gambia, makes no sense. And most Gambians, I mean, it's causing a lot of frustration and a lot of, um, I guess, em enmity between mm -hmm. Gambians and foreigners. Because um, I know I was looking for a place for a Gambian. And the budget was a Gambian budget. And I was looking and looking and... I, I posted on this uh, feed trying to get a place uh, for this Gambian, and I only got two refer two uh, responses. Nobody is providing housing that's affordable for Gambians. They have uh, increased it uh, to USD. And I'm not saying you know you have some apartments who they put the money into. Um, uh, providing Western standards. Mm -hmm. You can understand those types of apartments charging, you know, more. But they, you know, but you can still charge in Delasi. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if the person, if they're here, they have a residency here, they're here, they should pay see, in Delasi. That's, that's, that's where they slick it, see. Yeah. They let it pay in Delasi, but it'd be based on the U.S. dollar exchange rate. And and that's not fair. So, so, so uh -huh. if, if the exchange rate is 57, Oh yeah, you gotta pay fifty seven. Yeah, rate. it's not right. But if it dropped down to forty eight mm -hmm. or forty seven. Yeah. Now it's in the favor of the consumer. Guess what they did last time? When it was at forty seven or forty eight, they were saying, Oh, 50. we exchange at fifty. Everybody everybody that's, regardless. That's the just standard squeeze a little bit extra out of Yeah, you. that's the standard rate. It has been. Yeah, but but the thing yeah. is you, you can't have your cake and eat it too. I hate that yeah. saying, but it's just you know, yeah. it, it is what it is. And, and and let people live. Yeah. Yeah. I'm being kind of mad. But, man. Yeah, but <laughs> we, we may have to <laughs> clean it up a little bit. But anyway, you know, but <coughs> I, I would like to know, you know, for Gambians who go abroad, if you went to America and uh, they found out you were from Gambia and they said, hmm, we're going to pay you in Gambian Delasis in America. <laughs> And they expect you to pay your rent in Gambian uh, in USD, but you're getting paid in Gambian Delasi. That's what's being done here. That is what's being done to people just because people think that they can get more from these apartments. They think they can get more. They're charging higher, and the people who are paying. The majority are here. They're here. Well, I, we went to one place, and he just straight up, they just want dollar. Yeah. They, they didn't even mention Delasi. <laughs> no, they, no, they wanted like, USD. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they sure did. They sure did. And it's just, I mean, that that's just 
um, it's disheartening. It's disheartening. You know, we've been doing YouTube for um, two, and a, two and a half years now, and we have admonished people to come because it is a peaceful country. It's still a, peace of, a peaceful country. Uh, we've admonished people to come because of the cost. The cost is still okay, mm -hmm. uh, but, um, you know, um, I just think that people have gotten greedy, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, they've got bougie. Mm -hmm. And um, and so it's making it harder. It's, it's, it's making it harder on the Gambians. They can't even, a lot of them can't even find decent places because people have... And, and what makes me mad is some of these places, they, they're they not even nice. So, so They're not even U.S. standard, so, but they're trying to charge U.S. dollars. So, so now, with the price of everything going up, fuel goes up. So, yeah, so oh, now, fuel is so, so expensive. So now the 1010 price have to go up. And so for the people that's already struggling to get places, now they have to pay more fare. It's, it's a trickle-down <clears throat> trickle yeah, effect, and nobody is, nobody is winning. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? I do feel sorry for the 1010 people because our small car is taking about 70 U.S. dollars to fill up, and we have a small vehicle. Mm -hmm. We don't even have a, uh, a uh, SUV. SUV. It's costing us a, a little over $70 to fill it up. I just, you know, I don't know how the 1010 people make money but you know i know they have to keep their prices down so that the locals can afford it i just i want to see people care more about each other and not just about themselves dollar, dollar bill, yeah, yeah you know i i have noticed and i i, I don't want to say this the wrong way but sometimes People over here, they get rich and they look down on the poor and they don't have, some of them don't have a charitable heart. I've seen them really look down on um, Nose up the locals. Down. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it, I, I just wish that we would have a, a spirit of compassion for each other, you know. And um, you know that that that's that's a major challenge. Well, I you know, that. money only uh, brings out who you really are. It yeah. just, just magnifies. Yeah, you know, I agree with what that. What your true self is. Cause yeah. I'm a fool with money, just gonna be a bigger fool. That's true. Uh, I'm sorry, a fool without money, just gonna be a bigger fool with money. Yeah. That's you know, true. so if you have no integrity without money, <laughs> once you get it, oh boy, you got some challenges ahead of you. Yeah. So, you know, it only magnifies who you are. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a charitable heart without, you definitely won't have a charitable heart with. Yeah. Mm. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's true. Not to say it can't happen, but I've never seen it happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's next? I don't know. What's next? Uh, I did have another one. Uh, Ooh, these streets. Oh. Well, they're, they're a little better now. Yeah, yeah, they, they're they, better. They've opened up but, some, yeah. but I have one complaint. One is, and I know that you know there's no tr driver's test booklet, you know, to go online and study and all this kind of stuff. Mm. But I want somebody to get on TV and mm -hmm. radio and let everyone know that if you come to a four-way intersection and there is no traffic light then that automatically turns into a four-way stop sign. <laughs> it doesn't mean speed up and shoot through. Yeah. It automatically turns to a four-way stop sign. Yeah. And just be patient. And whoever arrives first, that's who leaves first. Yeah. Whoever arrives second, that's who leaves second. But here, oh. The if, 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 is if one horrible. If one person goes through... The next five people is on his tail flying. Yeah. Nobody stops, slows down, looks the other way. In fact, they'll just do like this. Yeah. And I'm like, just because you don't look at me don't mean I can't see you. Yeah. And they they know they're wrong and they just keep right on going. Yeah. You see accident after accident. People driving upside the wrong side of the road. And you know I have an issue with that because I got hit head on by a fool yeah. driving up the wrong side of the road. Yeah. It's bad. And I'm like, mm. come on. You open up the new road and both sides are open. 
and what you choose to go down the wrong side i'm like why yeah make it make sense for me because it's convenient mm -hmm. everyone's worried about their own convenience yeah as long as i get to where i'm going yeah, yeah. no matter if i run somebody off the road on the way as long as i can get where i'm going mm -hmm. and, and in a hurry to to be late because yeah. wherever they're going, <laughs> guaranteed they're already late. Should have been an hour ago. Yeah. So you in a hurry to be late and just take your time and yeah. get and arrive alive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's all I need to say about the roads. Yeah. So what else, somebody? Um, what else would you say is a, a big challenge? Um, mm, that's all I can really think of right fi now. Finding. Um, Finding true people. Sometime, um, I think, my, my thing is, I think the best type of repatriation is repatriating with family. Even, even if it's just you and your husband. If you're single, uh, go somewhere where you have friends. Don't be a lone ranger because there's so many, even, even me and Amadi, there's so many things about the culture that we found out, you know, much too late, you know, and, um, you know, it's just so important to be connected um, because when you get here, there's going to be a lot of people who want to help you. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are good. And we have good people, good mm -hmm. people that we have um, um, are attached to and for, are forever grateful. But I say this, when you are, we were on YouTube, when you're a light, it's going to draw um, a lot of good people, but it's going to draw moths too. And moths, they destroy. They, they, they want to eat, eat, eat up the fabric and, you know. So, you know, you just have to be really careful. Uh, Americans, I remember uh, we went to see uh, attorney once. And she just told me, you Americans are just so trusting. You believe everything we say. You remember she said that? Mm -hmm. She said, y'all stop believing everything we say. And she was like, would you do this in America? And I'm like, no, then why would you do it here? And that's one of the things we see here. It's like, even with us, it's like your common sense a lot of times, you, you, your heart is just open that your common sense just go out the window. So, and that's, um, that's usually during the honeymoon period. Yeah. You know, you, you move somewhere yeah. and you have all these, these, these fantasies of moving yeah. back to the motherland, yeah. reconnecting to your roots and learning culture. And along the way, you just lose... I'm not going to say lose yourself, but lose your faculties when it comes to not all common sense, mm -hmm. but some. Yeah. So, you know, you just have to learn how to, you know, take it slow. And, um, you know, when someone shows you who they are, I believe them. Yeah. You know, and um, take everything with a grain of salt and know when to move. Yeah. Yeah. You know, who to let in and who to keep out. Yeah. I think this is going to be a two-part series because I'm thinking about a couple of more things mm -hmm. um, that I want to address. Don't so we'll keep it at like 30 minutes. Off yeah, time. so we, we'll do a two-part. Okay, family. So this video is going to be a lot longer than we anticipated. So stay tuned for part two of Challenges in the Gambia. See you in the next video. Help us grow our channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing.